Hello everyone, this is Lin from Divaco Group and today I will introduce our AVP1662 model. This model supports 16 channels, XLR output. This AV Pro sensor will hit in the market. First, let's quickly cover the remote. It does have a nice tactile feel when you click on the buttons. Quick select input source buttons. We can see it's all mantle build with brushed aluminum front face, which has a quality look. The front of the unit consists of a source selector knob, a USB port, a front display with some indicator, a volume knob, six buttons to control the menu and the settings, as well as one power button. The back of the unit is where all the connections are housed. We can see here are 16 unbalanced RCA channel connections. 13 of them are for your speakers and 3 of them are for subwoofers. The bottom are 14 balanced XLR connections. Similar to the RCA connections, there are 13 connections for speaker channels. But the RCA has three connections for subwoofers. There is only one XLR connection for subwoofer here. So if you do have more than one subwoofer, only one of them can be connected through XLR, and then the other one would be connected through RCA. Here is the full set analog RCA input, two coaxial input and two optical inputs. Here is a Bluetooth antenna. Here is the calibration mic port and a mini SD card slot. Here is a IR input, one trigger output, and a mini USB for connecting with a PC. Here is RS232 input. For video connections, we have HDMI ports only, and they are HDMI 2.0 with HDCP 2.2. There are 6 HDMI input which are capable of 4K, 16Hz, RGB444, HDR10 and Dolby version. There are 2 HDMI outputs, one of which is capable of ARC and EARC. Let's move on to the manual as well as the on-screen display. All of the menu options with this unit will be shown on screen display. So you have full functionality showing on your display, whether it be your TV or your projector. It's a very basic menu and it's very easy to figure out. As you can see, the first tab here is a source tab where you can label each of your inputs. The second tab is for your sound mode selection. But you can change the sound modes with a quick press of the buttons on the remote as well. The third tab is for adjusting the trim level of each channel. First tab is for the room calibration software. Lastly is a setup tab. And this is where most of your settings are as well as most of your adjustments for the speaker, like the crossover and the EQ. This model has really good channel separation. It's quite clear and also well balanced and has a great powerful bass. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your watching. If you are interested in this model, contact us in any times. We will give you a quick reply. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.